Hello and welcome to my channel. Do you remember how we built this MIT Mini Cheetah-like controller? It allows to drive the brushless motor for the robotics. It allows to use the position mode, speed mode and torque mode. But the problem is that it's a little bit big, bulky and not really practical. But as you remember, MIT Mini Cheetah controller is open source project. So you can go to the GitHub, download the files, make the PCB and solder all the components on this PCB. But the problem is that components are super tiny, small SMD components. And so it's super difficult to solder at home. That's why I decided that I will look for the PCB company, which can provide the assembly service and which can make the entire board for me. And I contacted several PCB companies and only one from the several companies was able to produce this board for me. And this company is Next PCB, and they made this beautiful board for me. So they made the PCB and also assembly. So they soldered all the components on top of this PCB. Just compare the sizes. This one has exactly the same components as this one. At least exactly the same main components as this one. It's quite tricky to make this board. First of all, the PCB itself has four layers. Second, in order to solder these components, you need to have these components. And not all the PCB companies have the service where they can buy these components for you to solder them. The third thing is that you need to do the assembly, meaning that you need to solder these components. And the problem here is that there is components from one side and also from another side. There is an encoder from other side. But next PCB looks really professional and they were able to make five boards for me. So today we're going to try it and see how it works. For this I will solder some motor to it. Yeah! This video is sponsored by NextPCB. Currently NextPCB is offering a free trial offer of 10 of their PCBs for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping. Also there are PCB assembly services, only $7. How amazing it is! NextPCB offers 24 hour build times and shipping that can get your PCB in just a few days. For more information, please check out the video description below. Let's quickly compare these two boards. Here there is a microcontroller STM32. On this board it's over here. This is a driver with MOSFETs. And on this board the driver is here and this is 6 MOSFETs. This is MCP2542. You need it in order to convert the signal from the microcontroller to the CAN bus. And on this board, MCP2542 is over here. It's in the smaller package, but it's the same chip. And over here, below this motor, there is a magnetic encoder. On this board, it's from other side. This is a connector to program the microcontroller. And also through this connector, you can connect through the serial port to the microcontroller. Yeah, there is a big difference in this size and this small, tiny, beautiful board. This is an actuator which I partially disassembled. I took out the original controller and I'm going to replace it with MIT Mini Cheetah controller. So on this uh, actuator I have these three wires which are coming from the motor. And these two wires is for the temperature measurements. Unfortunately there is no possibility to measure the temperature on the original MIT Mini Cheetah controller. So we only need to connect these three wires. By the way, this actuator has built-in planetary gearbox. And if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you will recognize this actuator because I use it in many of my videos. And I've installed this controller with the help of the 3D printed part, the orange one. I also soldered all the wires, so three wires for the motor, this connector for the power supply and also the connector for the CAN bus over there. And over here there is a connector for serial port and to program the microcontroller. For this connector I'm going to use this wire. Looks quite cool. Now let's try to connect it for the first time. So we're connecting it with ST-Link and we're going to upload the firmware. I need to connect 24 volts here. Now the power on, no explosion so far. Let's see if I can upload the file now. It looks like it worked. Ok, now let's try to connect the serial. Ok, and now the power. Wow, it looks good. So we checked that we can upload the firmware. We checked that the firmware is correctly uploaded. With this we also checked that the serial works. Let's check the encoder. 
So this is a row encoder value. And if I rotate actuator, this value changes. Perfect. I've put the actuator on this 3D printed support. And now we are ready to do the calibration. During this calibration, controller should turn the actuator in one direction and into another direction. Go. Now let's try to go to the motor mode just to check that LED is working. Yeah, it does work. You see this LED. Cool. So we have finished the setup, so we don't need any Musa ST link. We can disconnect it. And now we can test the actuator itself, how it works. And for this, we need the CAN bus. So I have the CAN bus shield with Arduino. Let's connect it. I've connected the CAN bus with this wire. Ground is not connected. Over here, I have the termination resistor, 120 ohms. Arduino, I'm going to connect to the computer. Like this, I can check the serial port of the Arduino. And like this, I can check what the controller is replying. If this sounds complicated, watch my last video about MIT Mini Cheetah controller. Serial monitor. And I have data here. Cool. So the first is position input. The second is position output. This is the speed output. And this is the torque output. With the joystick, I can set the same position input as the position output. Like this, when I'm going to go to the motor mode, when I'm going to enable actuator, it should not move anywhere. Motor mode, exit motor mode. Looks good so far. Now we can try to run it. Motor mode. Oh. It rotates. It holds its position. Cool. It works. Nice. Great. I have increased the speed of the motion. So I changed the program on the Arduino and increased the speed. Not big deal. Let's try. Now I can go to the motor mode and try to rotate it. Oh, works perfectly. Let's check how it looks on the serial plotter. So the red is the input position, the green is the output position, yellow is the speed, and pink is the torque. I have also rebuilt the second actuator. This is a more powerful actuator than this one. You see this one is bigger. I think it looks quite cool with this orange 3D printed pad. So let's connect it and check that it still works. Power. Now let's go to the motor mode. Haha. <laughs> Works perfectly. It holds the position. I can increase the stiffness. Now the stiffness is quite low. Let's see what other tests we can do. I have installed this actuator as one of the actuator of this robot arm from my previous video. And let's see if it improves uh, the motion of the robot arm because last time with original controller, I had a lot of vibrations. Let's see if with this controller, there is less vibrations. The power is on. So let's enable the actuator. Let's go to the motor mode. Oh, no vibrations. Like zero. This is really cool. But it works way better. Great. Ha 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 ha. As you can see, this mini Cheetah controller is very capable. And this is why many companies who produce actuators are using them. Let me show you.
So this is MIT Mini Cheetah controller in its original form. And here I have three examples of other MIT Mini Cheetah controllers made by some companies in China. And uh, the question which I don't understand is why they redesigned this board if the original board is very small. If we compare, it's smaller than any of this board, way smaller actually. Maybe they redesigned it only for the mountain holes uh, to adapt for the mountain holes and for the direction of the output connectors. I don't know, but it's strange for me. If I would design the actuator by myself, I would just take the original one. I mean, it's small and it's compact. If you know why they redesigned it, write this in the comment. So as you saw, with this MIT Mini Cheetah controller, our robot arm works way better. For the moment, we replaced only one actuator, but next actuators for the next videos. And in order not to miss this, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Also put the like, some comments, share this video and be happy. Also, I would like to say a huge thank you to my patrons. Here are their names. Thanks to them, I can do this kind of projects. You are the best guys and girls. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your project and see you next time. Robot revolution is coming.